So we started investigating. We tried to understand what was going on. Why were some products successful and others, eh, not so much? Over the past few years, we've worked with hundreds of teams. In fact, we've helped over 22,000 engineers build better software. And through this experience, we definitely started recognizing some common patterns. For example, we've seen lots and lots of teams who've moved to agile development, and they've certainly gotten a lot of efficiency out of doing that. But those teams, they commonly tell us that somehow they just aren't getting the customer satisfaction that they had expected. We saw a lot of teams where each person on the team had a different idea about what they were building and who they were building for, and they just weren't aligned. No wonder they couldn't make a decision. Another interesting pattern we noticed was that many teams relied on a single person for innovation and creativity. You know, maybe it was the company founder or a team guru who always seemed to be driving all the great new ideas. And while that can work great for a while, boy oh boy, what happens if she ever gets hit by a bus? And finally, we found teams who were wondering, how is it that we built a lot more features and our stuff is just cooler? But somehow our customers are lining up for our competitor's product and they like it better than ours. They don't even have all the functionality we do. These patterns, they all resonated deeply with our personal experience of developing software. So what about you? Have you experienced any of these problems on your teams? We both figured that there's got to be a better way. And in fact, in the past 15 years or so, tons of new tools and ways of thinking have been developed and readily adopted by software engineers. By and large, these new tools have helped tremendously. Some of these tools, like Agile, XP, Kanban, and Scrum, they're really good. They're really good at helping make sure your technology systems and development are very efficient. You know, you can't really sell a product if it doesn't actually work. And approaches like the Lean Startup help you find a viable business model. It doesn't really matter how well you build a product if nobody will buy it. And while these tools are great, and they can certainly add a lot of value to you, we find that alone, they're just not enough. There's a critical piece missing. And that piece, it's the customer. You see, a viable business, it depends on having happy customers. And you can't have happy customers unless your technology actually works. But very few teams apply the same level of science and rigor to figuring out how to make their customers happy. And it's actually the linchpin of a successful business. It's the middle of the pyramid that connects it all together. That's where SFE comes in. SFE stands for Scenario Focused Engineering, and it's the tools you need to understand what your customers really want and build end-to-end -end experiences that they will love. Today's marketplace is ultra competitive. And in this competitive marketplace, delighting your customers, that can make the difference between success and failure. Each of these focus areas are critical. You have to build a product that's technically excellent. It's got to support a viable business model, but it also has to be desirable to use for your customers. Miss out on any one of these, and it's going to be difficult to succeed. If you want to win, you need the whole pyramid. Your biggest risk is that you invest weeks and weeks of development only to realize that you've built something your customers don't actually love. What's your best insurance policy against this risk? Well, first, you have to focus on a target customer and understand that one size fits all. It just never works. It's not possible to optimize for everyone. Then, you must do the hard work to discover your customers' unspoken needs and their innermost desires. Get under their skin. Know them better than your competitor does. Then, to find out what will really work for your customers in the real world, you have to come up with multiple ideas and test them with real customers. It turns out that it's really hard to predict ahead of time which idea will be the winner. You have to try a few different options to find out. And finally, there's a lot of untapped talent on your team. You never know where that next big idea is going to come from. Figure out how to leverage the brain power of your entire team. SFE shows you how you can build products that your customers will love. Check out our next video to see how it works. Put the customer at the center of your development. You'll be happy you did. And more importantly, so will your customers. Do what 22,000 other engineers have already done. Work with us. Find out more at sfeinfo.com.